Everybody's talking about context engineering, but nobody's really shown you how to apply it. I'm Tarek, AI advisor, and I help companies design AI that makes the right decisions for high stakes scenarios. Context engineering isn't just a buzzword, and it's not new concept, it's group of old concepts coming together as a fundamental shift. We need to build robust, scalable, and truly intelligent AI agents. Think about the old days, using resource files out of code instead of hard coding them, or using database-driven resources, or for those familiar with Spring, the idea of dependency injection. The core concepts are always the same, but this time they're here to revolutionize how we build AI agents. In this quick demo, I'm going to pull back the curtain and reveal the true power of context engineering by comparing two N8N flows. One built the traditional way and another supercharged with context engineering principles. First, let's have a little fun by adding a new tool like a DHL. Hey Jarvis, what is the status of shipment with tracking number G MDBD 8E 9CCE 9484E 495B7? It appears I misspoke earlier, sir. Your shipment GMDBD8E9CCE94842E495B7 is actually currently delivered to a parcel locker in Henderson, Nevada on May 8th at 10.37 a.m. I quite appreciate your patience. Cool, right? Adding a new service like DHL tracking is straightforward. But what happens when you need to add more tools? What if each tool has many required functions? MCP, multi-context protocol, helps, sure, but with many tools and functions, you'll quickly clutter your context, potentially confuse your LLM, consume more tokens, and make your flows a nightmare to maintain. What if your AI agent also starts over every single time? Imagine a human who forgets everything you said the moment you finish speaking. That's the amnesia problem in AI we talked about in the previous video, where every conversation starts from zero. But as we showed, Jarvis's graph memory gives him true power because it's not just remembering facts, it's understanding relationships between everything. It's about teaching AI agents to remember what matters, build on past conversations and interactions, and truly know your customers. What if we could do this differently? What if we could do it uh, better? You guessed it, context engineering. Now for clarity in this demo, we visually separated context builder nodes for each intent. However, in a truly optimized production ready design, this would be streamlined. All the logic for dynamically building context, including fetching specific prompt templates and tools would reside in a single generic context builder node with the details managed efficiently within a knowledge graph. This keeps your N8N flow clean and highly scalable as you add more services. We have here our original N8N flow. Notice how the Jarvis agent node contains a massive hard-coded system prompt. This prompt dictates everything, persona, tool usage, crisis protocols, it's all baked in. While functional, it's static, even though it's using MCPs with dynamic queries. But again, what if you need more and different functions? It's a nightmare to manage as your agent's capabilities grow. Now, look at the updated flow. This is where context engineering shines. Instead of a single monolithic prompt, we've introduced dynamic context management. See the context router? It intelligently directs the flow based on real-time data, deciding whether we're in a crisis or normal scenario. The customer profile manager retrieves personalized data, which then feeds into our crisis and normal context builders. These nodes dynamically construct the agent's prompt tools and tailoring its persona, communication style, and even its crisis response based on the specific customer and situation. But we don't stop there. The context assembly engine brings all these dynamic pieces together, including conversational memory, to create a comprehensive context. And crucially, the context compressor ensures we stay within token limits, intelligently summarizing information without losing critical details. This is token efficiency and context window optimization at its best. And finally, the feedback loop. 
the Relationship Memory Writer analyzes the agent's performance and interaction data, storing insights in memory storage. The Context Feedback Processor then uses these insights to recommend improvements, turning our agent into a continuously learning system. This is how we build truly intelligent and adaptive AI agents. So, there you have it. Context engineering isn't just a buzzword, it's the fundamental shift we need to build robust, scalable, and truly intelligent AI agents. It's about moving beyond static prompts to dynamic, adaptive information architectures for a truly agentic AI. Text engineering transform a basic AI agent into an intelligent, crisis responding powerhouse. But here's the thing, we can architect this system to be exponentially more sophisticated. In today's demo, I showed you binary context routing, crisis versus normal. Uh, but imagine granular context routing, uh, weather specific, geopolitical, supply chain disruption, each triggering specialized context builders with dynamic prioritization algorithms that score and rank information based on real-time relevance and urgency. The real magic of scalable context engineering lies in consolidating all that logic into one single generic context builder node. Imagine this node as a master architect. When your AI agent identifies an intent, say, a customer asking about a specific product, this single context builder node dynamically queries a powerful knowledge graph. From this knowledge graph, it retrieves everything needed for that specific interaction, the precise system prompt template, the exact tools required, and any relevant data. It then intelligently assembles and compresses this information, ensuring your LLM receives a perfectly tailored, token-efficient context every single time. This means adding a new service or a new type of inquiry to your AI agent doesn't require adding new nodes to your NAN flow or complex rewiring. Instead, it's as simple as updating data within your knowledge graph. Your N8N flow remains clean, lean, and incredibly scalable. That context compressor you saw, in production, it's doing adaptive compression ratios, automatically adjusting based on your LLM's context window size. It's not just truncating, it's implementing prioritized information removal with scoring. Customer context gets high priority, crisis data high, conversation history medium, raw market scanner data low. The relationship memory writer becomes your episodic memory system, storing full context snapshots with metadata. But here's the sophisticated part. It's also building semantic memory beyond just customer interactions. Your context assembly engine isn't just assembling, it's creating optimized working memory, placing critical elements at the beginning of prompts for immediate LLM decision making, and before that prompt even reaches your agent, pre-LLM validation checks, keyword presence, length validation, consistency verification, but we're talking production systems here, tool response validation after every knowledge graph call, context, quality assurance preventing erroneous outputs from polluting your context, the context feedback processor triggering automated context optimization, adjusting compression algorithms and prioritization rules based on performance metrics. Here's where it gets really advanced. Context personalization beyond static profiles, your system tracking sentiment, preferred response length, common query patterns, dynamically adjusting the context prompt for each specific user interaction, and proactive context generation, your system using predictive analytics to prefetch context for anticipated events, upcoming weather patterns, scheduled shipments, making your agent faster than real time. The difference is clear. It's the fundamental shift we need to build robust, scalable, and truly intelligent AI agents. It's about moving beyond static prompts to dynamic, adaptive information architectures that empower your LLMs to perform at their peak. If you're serious about building next generation AI solutions, mastering context engineering is non-negotiable. This was just a brief glimpse into its power. If you're interested in a deeper dive, stay tuned for more incoming videos. The future of AI is dynamic and it starts now. Like this video and follow for more insights into the cutting edge of AI and automation.